Sericho. Oh, plenty of room there for Anderson. Surely to the left. Uh, good spot. Good call. Second 180. Anderson poised to narrow the gap. Twelve that. These tops. Oh, pipe. Good catch there, he dropped his dart and caught it in his hand. No, actually, he missed it. He must have gone through his fingers. So, Gary Anderson now needing Gary tops to make it 4 2. Tens. Important one. And he's blown it. Oh, he's had such a good leg. When you missed the double at the end, it plays. Have it with your mind. You can't understand why you've missed it. And it's happened now, but he's got another opportunity coming back. Double five is not the best double on the board. But at least he's got three more darts at it. 60. Gary, you require right. Left on 92. Double five now. He's in bits. Double one. Game oh, yes. Gary Anderson. Seventh leg. Four two. From first. Game on. Well, unusually, he's seen quite a few double one finishes in this tournament. It's normally down in the dog and duck. My Two favorite, in. My favourite double for finishing that one. 121. <laughs> 45. Deflection to the left there, but he did get his arm around through that one. So despite a good start scoring in that first leg after the break, he consolidated it in this one. Concentration. Good last there dart, wasn't it? Yeah. Good last dart. See the concentration in his face. Justin Pipe's kids make of the uh, make of the break dancing. They probably taught him. Taught him in Taunton. Got to win it first to see that again. This promises to be 60. a tough battle, which is going to go maybe the distance. Yeah, there's still plenty to play for here. One We've seen so often a big score, a big finish, a few missed doubles. We've had certainly plenty of them, some drama. Sometimes the crowd gets involved. So in two recent games, a player's missing the double. The part and Hamilton one comes to mind as the main one, really. One thought Big Andy played well in that last game. And it's going to be interesting to see him against Michael Van Gerwen, which is going to be first semi-final that we're going wow. to be enjoying later on. Yeah, they've both got a good four hours or so to get themselves ready. Michael Van Gerwen's not going to be able to sort of feed off the rhythm that Adrian Lewis provides. I don't think you'll see uh, Andy Hamilton trying to play particularly quickly. No, he'll play his own pace, as Justin Pipe does. One Big finish yeah. available here one for one Anderson. One. Can he take it? No. Short answer to that. And Pipe comes back needing double ten to take Four the leg and go That's five two win ahead. Win See if he can get it first time of asking. Four out of five so far. Yeah, pretty impressive on the doubles. Make that Game five out of six. Yeah, very good on the doubles. Scores for show, doubles for dough, the old uh, saying. That's right, Alan Bobo. One Phil in action next. Go Taylor, go. Rem van Barneveld will have other ideas. Yeah, Barneveld has to get off to a good start. I know it sounds easy to say. But if he gets behind and starts missing, I think sometimes starts shaking his head. Been playing pretty well recently. 
95. He needs to get that good start. So important. Justin Pipe only needs another four legs here. Still his average over 100. Solid darts from Pipe. He's got better as the tournament has progressed. 121. Fabulous last dart, yeah, aren't we? It was, yes. He needed it as well. He was behind against Whitlock. And then eventually won 6-4. Very impressive against Caven. Caven's one of the men in form. Anderson's no slouch. Currently leading 5-2. Chance to make it 6. Oh, he says, as that uh, slides into the one. Good adjustment. And another. Oh, scary thought. Needs another. 85. Lucky. Just from an outside chance. Pipe 1 3 4. One of those dodgy ones because you need to hit two trebles. Decides not to go for the uh, Whitlock treble 17, treble 17 route. Then the more uh, the more usual attack, and just looking to set it up, and it'll give uh, Anderson now the opportunity for the big flashy finish. Well, say one, two, three, never wins a game, but if you can take out 16 or bull or the treble for double nine, well, it's the bull. Bull for Anderson. Oh, opportunity gone. Just in the required 36. That's kind of finishes that change games. Double 18 likes it up here, Pipe. I will not enjoy having to go for nine now. Adjustment. Not quite getting it right this time. Well, his doubles has been impressive. He's missed his opportunity there. Double 12. And double 12 hit. He missed the ball, but it came back. Well, the second opportunity, Pike missing the double for the first time. One double 12, the Anderson manner of going for that 25. And you see the double checkout rate and Pipe having the advantage there. But Anderson getting one he needed. Narrowing the gap. 5 3 now. Those three dots for the double there. When you're playing so well. Hitting your doubles well, and all of a sudden you miss three. So it all depends what Pat can do in the next two wow. legs to see if he's got that out of his mind. That's important as well. Still with the break, Pipe. And the darts here, but Anderson, good start to this leg. And that is not what he requires. Certainly isn't. There's Anderson, who's already in front in this leg, can maybe nick it. He will be throwing first in the last leg before the second break. All of a sudden, we could be back at five apiece. Different game then. Well, his favourite in this leg now. Pipe needing more of that. One. Got the face for TV, that fellow, only he? he was always going to get on. One. Needed that last one big time. Now let's see if those missed doubles have affected Pipe. That's a good dart. Can you line oh. one just next to it? Yes, is the answer. Fill it up. Close. A bit unlucky, wasn't he? Just kissed the barrel as it went through. We'll certainly take that one, starting the leg with 60 and 41. And Gary now needs one to keep him in the hunt. Oh, good last one. That's so playing there. better. He's playing better. 160 for 6 3. That's a good first dart. Can't do it now. Anderson will return with the 101 possibility. Here we go. 60 left. 101 for Anderson. Trouble 19 for double 12. Not this time. 69. 
Right, missing three darts on the double in the previous leg. Should have two at least here. 20, double 20. He'll do this with his eyes closed in practice. But now up on the stage, this for a three leg advantage. Good darts, six out of ten now. That's good finishing and back to his best. Well, halfway through that leg, he was in danger of losing it. As we mentioned, if Anderson could have nicked that one, it would have been throwing first for 5-5, five, five. that's history now. Pike consolidates his three-leg advantage. Last leg before the break, and the final break of this match. First to nine. Pipe three away. Pipe is just around the bend. One I'm ready. That's awkward, he's having to go elsewhere. And the cover <laughs> shot missed by some distance, hence the shake of the head. Trying to G himself up, Gary. And just nick this one. Go in at 6 4. We saw that with Van Gerwen last night against Lewis. He was behind. Managed to nick in at 6 4 wow. and then came out from the break. Good dart. 99. A little bit of calm in the audience today. On Sunday afternoon. It'll change. I'm sure it Trust will. Trust me, it'll I'm change. I'm sure it will. I remember last year, and it was rocking on Sunday night. 99. Good last dart from Pipe. Puts him on the finish, good thinking. Yeah, we saw Van Gerwen hit that against Wesley Newton in the first quarter-final today. Just to see, if can see it again. Seven. Biggest checkout you can get, treble 20, treble 20, bull. And if the first one goes in, the crowd will get involved, but well, it hasn't done, so now just got to do a good setup. As you rightly said, Alan, this is so important for Anderson. 7-3, it would look almost insurmountable, but 6-4 looks a, a very much better situation. Tops for Anderson, they hit the wire. Oh, just underneath. Pack took 107 in the second leg. 110, still a treble. One big treble in the first two darts, and there's that one. Now's the hit, big 18. For double 16, he'll take his time. His doubles was impressive earlier in the match. Has missed a few since then. Oh, he's missed again on the wire, though. Anderson breathes again. Double 10, then. Oh, he's missed it. Fives, difficult one. Oh, he's in a mess now. Busts the go. Well, you could see it. Gary Anderson muttering to himself there, saying rubbish. Well, he knows he's missed a good opportunity there, you can see the look on his face, not happy. He's missed too many opportunities, he hasn't had many, but it could have been a closer game. A pipe for a four-leg advantage. One more left, he's missed with two. Crucial! 16. Well, couldn't miss earlier on, suddenly it's a different game, this is a lot of pressure on this leg. Tens for Anderson. Oh, he's in the wrong bed. He can't believe it. Well, he's smiling to Russell That's referee. That looked like it went in off the lampshade. This is so important. Where did that come from, he says. Now then, Justin Pipe. Looking for double eight. Pressure is palpable. Oh, come on! No! Well, he was getting further away there. Well, this is one of them type of legs. We had with John. And Hamilton. Well, he's got it this time. Well, Gary Anderson turns out of the crowd. He can't believe he's won the leg. But he gets back into the match at 6 4. 
join us after the break.